Welcome to my first Power Pivot video. What I want to do today is show you how Power Pivot works with analysis services, a feature that I think will be used a lot, especially in scenarios that I've been using Microsoft BI for a while now. What we're going to do is launch the Power Pivot window, and what we have new on CTP3 is from analysis services. What we're going to do is open my local instance. and open the AdventureWorks database. On the AdventureWorks database, we're going to get the sales amount and compare the sales amount with the amount of sales that a, an analyst has budgeted in the same year. What we see here is an MDX statement query window where an analyst or a programmer can build an MDX statement, but we can use the design window where we can build our own query and our own data. Okay, we select internet sales, and what I want is the internet sales amount of the current year, date, calendar year, and we select 2008, and what I want is the month and the calendar year, And I want to see them by category and subcategory. Okay, this is it. This is the data I want to show. Press OK. We see the MDX query and we give it a user friendly name Internet Sales Amount. Finish. And what we see is the rows will be successfully transferred to Power Pivot. Okay, what we're going to do now is clean it up a bit. We see two unwanted guests I think they will they are coming with us because of the hierarchy of the internet sales amount in the cube I don't know what where they're coming from but we don't want them now we're gonna clean it up a bit we're gonna first we're gonna start with the measure and I'm gonna call it internet sales amount and we're gonna tell it it's a number and not a text Okay, we can use this as subcategory. The category itself, the name. Okay, this will be the calendar month. And this will be the calendar year. What we have now is the internet sales amount of, of 2008 by month, by category, by subcategory, and the sales amount available. What we now want to do is get the forecast data. I have prepared this in advance. What we have created here is by month, by category, a sales forecast. Now we can load them into Power Pivot by using the link table. What you have to do is create a table by click by using Ctrl L. We get the table here and we can say, okay, create a link table. And what it will do is load the table into Power Pivot. And what we what we have done is say we use the same names. We have calendar month, calendar month, subcategory and subcategory and this is the forecast I use the values from this and this sheet to create two new dimension sheets using the remove duplicate version I just copied and pasted it into Excel and used remove duplicates to create a category dimension we paste it into here we do the same Ctrl L I use create link table. We rename it to dim category, and the same we will do for the date dimension. We create a new sheet. Use the 
the control L function again and we create a link table. Rename date. Let's rename this one as well. Rename and we call it sales forecast. Okay, we have our data inside Power Pivot, and what we're gonna do is create a pivot table, and we do it in a new sheet. Okay, you see here all data available, and what I want to do is get the internet sales amount by calendar month, and you see we've got some relationships needed. Okay, create. And he automatically detects the dimensions by using the name. So make sure when you load your data, you have all the column names in exactly the same. Calendar month by calendar month. Okay, back to our sheet. We want to see the sales forecast against the sales amount. And again, he says relationships needed. Okay, create it, close, and you see the data automatically changes. Okay, next category on the slicer. I like slicers, and he's again he's talking about relationships. Okay, create them, please. Okay, now we see the data changes. Now we want to use subcategory as well on the slicer, so you can make some extra filters. Okay, now what we see here is way too much data, so we're going to hide some of them, because you see calendar month here, calendar year, category, subcategory, and only you want to use them from the dimensions and not from the fact tables. Well, we can just go and hide them, right click. We can use multiple, all at the same time. Hide columns from the pivot table. In sales forecast, we do the same. Hide columns from pivot table. And this, these are we're all gonna show. Okay, we go back. Hey, one new function again. The model was modified. We do refresh, and you see just less. Okay, what we're gonna do now is we want to, sh to show you the difference between the internet sales amount and the sales forecast. So I'm gonna add a new measure where we are going to sales forecast minus, oh, just the other way around, internet sales, internet sales amount minus the sales forecast is the difference we click check formula no errors in the formula we can ok and you see here difference we have 14,505 less than we had forecasted one more thing we want to see a pivot chart using this data on and you see the difference around zero, more or less, more or less, and you see some small changes. And the great thing is, the slices are automatically working. So this is about it. This is how easy you can connect your analysis service cube with new data. Okay, for more information on these items, you can go to my blog. And thank you for watching.